Welcome to Hudson Yards, a small neighborhood on the west side of Manhattan where the average sales price of an apartment, a whopping $5.8 million. With a futuristic vibe and some tourist attractions to boot, let's explore New York's most unaffordable neighborhood. Now you may be wondering where exactly is Hudson Yards? Located between 10th and 12th Aves from West 30th to West 34th Street. This is actually New York's newest neighborhood opened in March 2019 at the cost of 20 Five billion dollars the largest real estate development in American history if you haven't visited New York City in five years and you came here you would honestly be shocked the whole purpose of Hudson Yards was to build a spot where people could live eat shop have culture and office space all in one small area and you honestly get a bit of a futuristic city vibe just strolling through but this has not been without its controversy some calling it a billionaire's fantasy ultra capitalistic a horror on the hudson on and on now with all these amenities maybe you want to live in hudson yards i went to their website and the cheapest apartment i could find available nearly five thousand dollars a month for an alcove studio not only does hudson yards have an equinox gym new york's most expensive at 260 dollars a month but they also have the world's only equinox hotel full with a spa 60,000 square foot fitness center and rooms starting at over 700 dollars a night say what you will about the expensive cost of living here or even staying at a hotel but when they created hudson yards i don't think they realized how big of a tourist attraction this would become especially during the holiday season they go absolutely wild with the decorations i recommend coming here at night just to see the place lit up we did a video about this last year probably the centerpiece of hudson yards right behind me the vessel 200 million dollar art piece designed by british architect thomas heatherwick and very sadly it has been closed at least for climbing up for over a year due to a rash of suicides, but you can still go inside to take photos, which is something many tourists are doing right now. I wonder how many of the tourists here realize that you used to actually be able to walk around. Yeah, this is the shot. This is the shot everybody takes, just like this. So this is the current use for the vessel with tourists is coming in, taking a quick photo. It, it definitely gives off alien UFO vibes looking up. At least that's what I always thought. What do you think it looks like? Remember we talked about culture at Hudson Yards? Well, that marshmallow looking building behind me called The Shed is the hub. They host theater, art exhibits, concerts, and a lot more. You might be surprised to find out that it has wheels and can actually retract to create this big plaza effect. Right now, if you want to see the current show, Straight Line Crazy, which has been sold out for months. Remember what we said about capitalism here? Resellers have tickets on the secondary market going for over $2,000 to get into that show. Now, one of the big selling points of his neighborhood was all of the office buildings here. It's difficult to say in a post-pandemic world if they've gotten a big return on that investment. Meta just announced that they will be vacating 250,000 square feet of office space at Hudson Yards. The shops at Hudson Yards. Well, this probably won't surprise you, but it's one of the most expensive malls in the United States. We've got brands like Louis Vuitton, Cartier, Rolex. All right, what do you think? Will Rolex service my Skechers watch? Now, I don't know how many of the tourists can afford some of these shops, but I will say during the holiday season, just coming to the mall is worth the trip. They get decked out like no other. Dior, Fendi, Rolex. I feel like my net worth is going up just walking around this mall. Ben, you gonna do some holiday shopping here? I mean, maybe if I had a sugar mama, Amazing Ben 25, link in the description. Can I do that? I don't know, man, <laughs> I don't know. All right, not every shop here is some high-end designer brand. Uniqlo, pretty affordable. We keep talking about how much tourists love Hudson Yards. Well, the Edge Sky Deck is located on the fourth floor. You go 100 stories up, $38 admission. We were here the day it opened, and it's still in my top three of New York City observation decks. So if you have the time and you're in Hudson Yards anyway, consider it. 
So one of the reasons that this area is swarmed with tourists is because the High Line ends here at Hudson Yards and you can naturally go see the vessel and do other things. I was walking here before and I had one of those strange moments where I thought, oh no, did I just wander onto some railroad tracks? But no, this is part of the High Line. So Hudson Yards actually takes its name from the MTA rail yard along the Hudson River between 30th and 33rd Street. And it was part of a Penn Central rail yard that once extended to 39th Street. Out here, many people don't realize, is the Western Yard of Hudson Yards, part of that $25 billion project which still hasn't come to fruition. And there's a really interesting, and dare I say controversial plan of what could be here. Are you ready for this? The Wynn Resort has made a bid to add a casino resort and entertainment complex here. The state earlier this year authorized three downstate gaming licenses, two of which Mayor Adams wants for New York City, but the State Gaming Commission has not yet issued a formal request for proposals, so this is just an idea right now, but can you imagine in less than five years, a big casino and entertainment complex on the west side of Manhattan? I don't know. I'm not sure I'm a fan yet. If you enjoy tours like this and want to know the best spots in the city, consider shopping for one of our new tourist guides to New York. We've got so many different types, cheap eats, midtown, itineraries, a lot more. See the link down below in the description. I've always wanted to eat at Mercado Little Spain in the basement of Hudson Yards, and you guys have given me an excuse to do so. Yeah, so just the two paella valencianas and one lemon, one apple. Thank you. $47 for two paellas with two drinks. I'm curious, my viewers in Spain, how much you pay for a plate of paella. We've got paella valenciana here, chicken, rabbit, rabbit, wow, artichokes, green beans, saffron, rice, tomato, rosemary. I think I got some rabbit. You know, it's not bad. The rabbit tastes gamey. I've been waiting forever to use that adjective for food but I don't think it's worth $18. Not a bad meal for a cold day, but again, look where we are. You're not gonna find much cheap food in here, at least not this much protein. Paz Manzana, muy nuestro. Okay, this I like. I spent some months in Spain, never tried this before. The good news about Mercado Spain is there are other options. You don't just have to go to quick serve paella spots. You can also go to a sit down restaurant. Might be better just for some dessert or small bites. But I am gonna finish this. From Manhattan's richest neighborhood to Brooklyn's. In this video, we explore Brooklyn Heights, a neighborhood that not enough tourists or even locals explore.